Gay SA Radio. Slay, mama. Where you are family. Gay SA Radio, where you are family. I'm Rian, and on the line with me is uh, Karin Diage from Villa Castellini in Neisner. Villa Castellini, I mean, I've, I've mentioned you guys so many times on air, and um, the whole Mr. Gay world is happening there. Tell me a little bit more about Villa Castellini. When did you guys open your doors? Uh, well, Villa Castellini opened their doors in 2002, which is now 16 years ago. The owners bought it as a house, and in 16 years, they've built it and made it to what it is today, which is a 10-bedroom guest house, as well as a function hall, which we do have on the other side, and that can host about 250 to 450 delicates, depending whether it's a conference or a function. Yeah, I think one of the things that makes Villa Castellini so special is the fact that the movie Nice Now was filmed at, at Villa Castellini, as well as The Bachelor. Yeah, both of them were filmed, yeah. We were in the lucky position to have Nisner be filmed, yeah, and that's a local film. Yeah, we had the honor to see, uh, what's his name, von Jarsfeld, Niels, uh, diving into our pool nude, which was absolutely a blast from the past, if we can put it that way. And um, yeah, then the other one is basically The Bachelor from Finland that was shot, yeah, and we had the pleasure of having him stay with us for the three weeks. And, um, yeah, we had one evening and he wanted to go to town, which was actually very funny. And I said to him, please don't tell people you're the bachelor because then you'll have a host of girls running after you. And he says, but what can you go as? And I said, well, why don't you call yourself Pit Kukumur and you're a farmer from Free States, but in Afrikaans. And it took us about a half an hour and we had him going this and he walked out and I said to him, right, who are you now? And he says, ek is Pit Kukumur. And that's how we left him after three weeks and absolutely still a friend of ours. And yeah, so we do have a lot of things happening here. Tell me, did the whole Mr. Gay world, Pink Louie, um, LGBTQ kind of thing, is this the first kind of event like this that you guys support? Um, we have done it in the past. Um, I mean, it's basically our third year doing the Pink Louie Festival. And this will be the first year that we uh, that we are sponsoring the Mr. Gay World to be hosted here. Tell me a little bit more about um, Mr. Gay World. What kind of planning goes into an event like this? Oh, there's a lot of sleepless nights, firstly. I mean, there's a lot of extensive planning going into hosting events like the Pink Lurie Oyster, uh, the Pink Lurie Festival, and then also the Mr. Gay World. I mean, you have to do all the applications to the municipality, which have to be in order and... Yeah, and then, of course, you need to get a very good team that works with you. Otherwise, it won't be a success at all. I think what people also don't realize here is the fact that when other people are partying, you guys are actually working. Absolutely. We work through the night. I mean, like, even now, we are working around the clock to get everything in order. And, I mean, it's not just pen and paper. You have to find people, make sure that everything is applied to the rules that are set down by the municipality. So, yes, it's a lot of things that need to fall in place before you can absolutely open your doors and say we're ready for whatever has to be hosted, yeah. And it's also kind of a thing that people think that when you plan something like this, it's like a week before, an overnight before, but which it's not. It's it, it's actually a long time before this that, that the planning starts. Yes, it's about a year. We've been starting our last year. After the Pink Fury ended last year, we immediately started with the year for this year what's happening so it's a long it's i mean it's not an overnight thing that you just decide it is an ex like i say extensive planning and you have to get everybody aboard um otherwise i mean it won't work obviously that's the one thing in life with mr gay world um you guys are sponsoring all the mr gay world events or, or you're hosting all the, 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 the uh, let me rephrase you are sponsoring the venue for all the mr gay world events yes we are so the president's the president's ball on the twenty fifth is happening there, and the grand finale on the twenty sixth. Yes, that's all happening. Yeah, yes. What advice do you have for this year's contestants? You have to be true to yourself. Um, you can only serve your community once. You are truly true to yourself and speak up against bullying. Okay, the, the, the one thing I've been mentioning in in everything about Villa Castellini, I haven't been there myself yet. So, it's the views. Apparently, you guys have spectacular views of the lagoon. Yes, we do. We really, and it's not that I'm working here 
but I think we really have the most beautiful view. I always say it's a piece of heaven, and that's how I feel every morning when you wake up. It is different, and yeah, I think it is a piece of heaven that God gives us to see every day. And I'm very privileged to see it and to show it to people. Corin, do you ever get used to that setting, living in it? You know, do you sort of ever kind of wake up and you not notice it around you? No, nope, not at all. Every day is different. It's never the same. I think lastly, my last question to you is if um, anybody wants to book or know more about Villa Castellini, where do they go? How do you find out? Do you guys have a website? Yes, we do have a website. It's www.castellini.co.za. There they will get all the information. And um, they can also go and have a look on our Facebook page. They will also see the links there to make bookings directly to us. And if there's just one last thing I can say before I go, okay, that all the delegates that are coming, they will bring a personal gift from their country, which will be used as an auction item. On the, um, on the evening of the 25th of Friday, May. So that means how special this really is. But uh, all the delegates are bringing something special from their hometown to auction that evening. And just coming on the topic, I think, what happens to the money that's raised during the auction? That goes to all the fundraisers that we support. So that's where all the money goes to. Corin, thank you so much for a wonderful chat. And I will definitely chat to you soon. Okay, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you and meeting you. Gay okay, SA Radio, we you are family. I'm Rian, and that was uh, Corin Diaga from Villa Castellini, one of the proud sponsors for the Mr. Gay World pageant. No matter how you identify, Gay SA Radio has something for you. Gay SA Radio, where you are family.